Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's George, and today we got another welder that we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing. This is the Yes Welder MIG 205DS. It's a very nice machine, and it's also a five-in-one process machine, which means you can do MIG welding, flux core welding, stick welding, lift TIG, and spool gun welding. For lift TIG and spool gun welding, you do have to buy the accessories separately, but you can find them on the website. Now this is also a multi-voltage machine which can run on 110 volts or 220 volts. And it's also an IGBT based machine. And it also has a new updated LCD display that's more user friendly and just looks a lot nicer laid out. So enough was the intro. We're gonna do the unboxing and see what's inside. So we're going to take a quick view at the MIG 205DS Pro before we remove the accessories from the box. That is a side view. Here's a front panel. Nice color codes here on the terminals. You got your diagram for gasless. The feeding mechanism, mostly metal there. You can put a 10 pound spool of wire in here, solid wire or flux core. I like when machines have a 220 plug on here and then you use your adapter to go to 110. Some of the ratings here for 110 and 220. All right, so here's all the accessories included with the MIG 205DS Pro. We got the MIG 205DS Pro manual. We got some colored pictures, that is always nice. Here's the electrode holder. The earth ground. Here's a MIG torch. We got a new liner here, or a replacement liner. Our adapter, so we can plug the machine into 110 volts. Our gas hose. We got some contact tips here, a little wrench. We got some wire feed rollers. We got three of them. All right, so we're gonna try and navigate through the menu quickly here or the display on the MIG 205DS Pro. And first of all, we can see we are on 220 volts, 185 amps, and we're on stick mode. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the amperage here. 205 is the max. 20 amps is the lowest you can go on stick welding here. Now we're gonna click here on weld mode. Now we're on manual MIG. And as you can see, I can move one of the displays here for the wire feed. And I can adjust the voltage over here to wherever I need it. Here on the top, you got the wire diameter, 0 0.03 inches or 0 0.8 millimeters. The next button here, steps mode, 2T and 4T. For this application, I use 2T. We got our gas down here. Now we're gonna go to well mode again. We are on Synergic MIG, which means one button should control both displays there. I'm gonna give it with a paper there just to kind of hold things, keep it, keep things in place there. All right, and we can add some tension there. So we can press the button here, the button here. We got gas coming out. Cut that off. And I got some plate here. We're gonna try to tack it and hopefully we can get some good welds on there.
All right, guys, so hopefully you guys are excited as much as I am trying to see these welds. I got a low battery on here and had to do a quick stop there. So that's where I kind of started there. And then check that out. Very nice welds. So there's something about the Yes welders that just weld differently i've tried different manufacturers out and i've always had a preference for a yes welder check out my glove here <laughs> so i'm gonna do another wood on the other side there And the manual calls out for about 514 on the wire speed. And like I said, I'm trying different settings here. All right, so we're going to do quarter inch plate, 585 and 24.9 volts there. That is quarter inch there. You can see we got some nice heat here on the back. Once again, 14 gauge. I don't really weld sheet metal. We're gonna give it a go. I did uh, one weld, I stopped, and then I continued. And that's quite a speed bump there. So I try to replicate the same thing. As you can see, it looks a bit wider there than this one. It looks more uniform. 332, 70, 18, 40 brand. Now I got some no name brand 7018, 105 amps.
I think that looks pretty good. Looks better in person than in camera. So I got the water at 106. 6010 18 electro. Once again, 316's plate. And I don't have high hopes for IGBT machines running 6010, so let's see what happens now. Alright, so one thing I'm going to say is, I struggle with a 6010, but this machine managed to run it a lot better than other welders I've tried in the past. Alright, so here are the welds that we did with 7018, 332 on the top, and 1 ace electrode on the bottom. And I think they look pretty good. 6010 is kind of difficult on IGBT based machines, and as you can see my first attempt here, I had like 4 restarts. And the second one, well, it had one start and then a second start, and it ran a lot smoother here. You just got to keep the art very tight and basically in the groove. Don't have a groove here, but you get the point. So now we're going to talk about the machine, so stick around. All right, guys, so we're done testing the MiG 205DS Pro by Yeswater, and basically it's time to talk about the machine and the way it performed. As y'all saw in the video... All the welds came out perfectly, no hiccups, ran it on stop on 220. Now this is a 5-in-1 machine and a multi-voltage like I mentioned earlier. And the price point on this machine seems kind of low. It is very affordable in my book and you get a lot of performance out of it. Now these welds here are some of my favorite. They came out nicely and it was basically my first test run and then the second one and didn't really have to do much adjustments now synergic mode on here helps out a lot the chart that comes with the machine as well now a lot of people are going to buy this machine for lift tig or for mig welding not many people use uh stick welding or mma you know i tend to uh move away from it now but um this machine is reasonably priced and i just feel like it does pack a punch the arc sounds a lot stronger than other machines i've used in the past so i'm gonna leave a link below to amazon it might be an affiliate link so you can check it out get more information on the machine check out the prices they do offer discounts from here and there and i'll see if i have a discount code to post below but we'll see more welds and uh more videos on the mig 205 ds pro and videos to come so see you in the next video subscribe comment below and let me know what you think about the machine bye bye